This session will enable you to create a Fanta bottle just like the one on the screen using Autodesk Inventor. By the end of the next 5 minutes or so, you should have gained basic knowledge of this program and feel confident in using a range of techniques and tools, some of which may be new to you and some of which you may have used before. The starting point of this exercise is to use the line tool to create a centre line. This line will act as a line of symmetry for the Fanta bottle. Correct dimensions for this line to keep the bottle in proportion should be 240mm. Now you should start drawing the outside of the bottle. Remember, the line in the middle is a line of symmetry, so you're only drawing half the bottle. When you're drawing smaller areas of the bottle, it would be better to zoom in so you get a better idea of what you're drawing. If you draw things from too far away, you may end up with the wrong proportion and scale. The neck of the bottle requires you to use the arc tool. For this we will be drawing two arcs and putting them together. If you find the shape of this bottle hard to think of off the top of your head, look at a bottle yourself or find an image from the internet. As you see, the two curves are joined together one sloping in the way and the other sloping out to create the shape of a bottle. This is another small section so it would be best to zoom in on. Here the bottle is taken in very slightly and taken down. This is the centre point of the bottle where the label would usually go. You will notice that when you extend the line along here, it snaps the point directly above it. This helps keep lines straight. It does it again here. This is where we use arcs again. It's the same process as above, using two arcs and joining them together to create a shape. Another arc is used at the bottom of the bottle. This is used for the indent in which you find it in the bottom of most bottles. After this is done, you click Finish Sketch. Now that the shape is complete, it's time to revolve it around its axis. To do this, click the Revolve tool. First click the shape that you want to revolve and then the axis in which you want it to revolve around. Then OK. Now as you can see, we have our bottle shape. The next command we want to use here is Shell. This eliminates the interior of the bottle making it hollow. First thing we do here is pick a thickness of about 3mm and then click the outside option. Then click the face in which we want to get rid of and OK. As you can see the bottle is now hollow. The next thing we want to do is get rid of some sharp edges which are on the shape. To do this, we'll use the fillet tool. Just click on the edges in which you want to fill it, apply, and then OK. The next part is creating the bottom mouth. To do this, we use the thread tool. We then click the surface in which we want to thread and play around with the settings until we find one which fits best. I found that 1mm offset and 20mm length work best for me. As you can see, now we have a realistic bottle top. The next stage is to create a label which will be wrapped around the bottle. Choose the XY plane and then the plane tool at the top and offset the plane so it sits just in front of the bottle. Then change the view so the plane sits directly in front of the bottle and you get a front on look. Zoom in so you see what you're doing. Then change it to a 2D sketch. After you've done this, click on image. First you have to get an image off the internet. Look in images and type in Fanta label. This will then give you an option. I chose this one. Save to your pictures and when you're saving it, Save it as a bitmap file, as this works best. So select image and find your image from your files and insert it onto your picture. 
Click OK when that sign comes up. Edit the size of your label so it fits the section in the bottle which the label is meant for. This might take a while to get it right. Set the label in front of the bottle so you can see exactly where it's going to be placed. And then rotate the view so you can see the bottle and the label. Then finish sketch. Then go to create and decal. This is the tool you use to put the label on the bottle. Click on the label and then wrap to face and then click on the section of the bottle in which you want the label to be wrapped around and then OK. To get rid of the plane, right click and turn off the visibility. Here you go, now you have a completed bottle. Thank you for listening. Yeah buddy!